Minneapolis City Council will vote on a proposal later this week. It's aimed at getting more money in the pockets of rideshare drivers. Yeah, but one company says if that gets approved, they will take their business out of the city by January 1st. Fox 9's Bab Santos joining us now live from Minneapolis with a look at what they are considering. Babs? Well, this is playing out in Minneapolis now, but it's actually already played out at a statewide level. That was back in March when Governor Tim Walz vetoed a bill that would have brought similar changes. In a message to riders, rideshare company Lyft says its future in Minneapolis is in limbo because of a proposed ordinance in the city. The company says it will be forced to stop operating in Minneapolis on January 1st because prices could nearly double. But speaking for more than 1,300 drivers demanding a raise up to $1.14 on the mile, up from what they say is currently around 50 cents on the mile, the president of the Minnesota Uber and Lyft Driver Association, Eid Ali, says drivers have been suffering for more than a decade under a company that puts its margin of profit over paying livable wages. We were asking uh, uh, to be fair uh, for those drivers so that they're able to feed their families. Absolutely, they should not be speaking for everybody because it's not realistic. Jennifer drives part-time on weekends and did not want to be identified because of her other work. She believes the current compensation is enough, saying drivers can work during surges to make more money, ultimately agreeing with Lyft's stance that higher costs will lead to fewer riders and less money for drivers. And this is a job that people that come from other countries that have limited English and communication skills can do and make a livable wage to support their families. Why would you take that away from them? On Tuesday, City Council member Robin Wansley told Fox 9 Uber had begun lobbying City Council members to oppose the ordinance as well. Meanwhile, Mayor Jacob Fry sent a statement that read in part, this ordinance has moved through the legislative process with little deliberation and there is essential information needed to make good, transparent policy decisions. This ordinance now heads to the floor in front of the Minneapolis City Council on Thursday morning at 930. Reporting live, Bab Santos, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Babs.